One thing that I always hear everybody on the spiritual journey talk about is how lonely it is, how isolating it is, and how basically your circle always changes. Your circle always change once you start on this path. And I feel like that's because we were being prepared for times like this. Because times like this where everybody is freaking out about social distancing social distancing kind of feels like your norm because like for me when i started on this journey and i feel like i've been on this journey my entire life self-awareness is a superpower hey youtube welcome to the soul and vibration channel welcome back to all of my subscribers but when i became aware of who I am and what I am capable of, similar to most of you guys who follow this channel. Because I feel like if you follow numerology, astrology, and different occult things, topics like that, is because you know that there's more than what meets the eye, so you're searching. And those of the people like us who are searchers, we tend to get isolated in our journey, not intentionally, but after a while, you realize that you are not interested in the conversations that others are having or the superficial things that other people find exciting and fun and get a thrill out of, where you might get a thrill out of learning more about yourself and trying to make sense of this journey. And I remember for me, maybe back in 2000 and seven i think um one of my clients introduced me to this lady who is a psychic and this lady started having classes at her house where she would teach positive thinking and telepathy and things like that and i remember my brothers would laugh at me and clown me because it's like who pays to go to a positive thinking class and that, that was the beginning of me experimenting with it outside of myself. Like I've always been sensitive to things, have strong dreams, trust in my dreams. But then being a part of this class and meeting other people who is also fascinated by the things that I was fascinated with, I felt at home. And weirdly enough, I used to pay to get psychic readings done in the past before I was aware of my own ability to see for myself, I would pay to get these sessions done because I like being in the presence of those people because those people are my people. So basically what I'm saying is all of you who've been on this journey, this spiritual, this journey where you are basically becoming more self-aware because I feel like we're all spiritual beings but not all of us practice spirituality. And to practice, to practice spirituality is to practice self-awareness. So for all of you who have been on this self-awareness journey, it's been lonely. So this whole social distancing thing, it feels weird because now you're told you have to keep to yourself. But when you really think about it, it's been your reality all along because that's the one common thing that the people who follow this channel or interact with me on the soul and vibration instagram channel um instagram page talk about is how lonely this journey is because once you start this journey like you start to separate from your friends your family and everything you've known everything that you you found comfort in everything that's familiar to start this path so i feel like we've been getting prepared for times like this and i feel like in times like this you might feel intuitively pulled in one direction while your logic and your mind is trying to pull you in another like for me i can feel my intuition and just the calm within me wanting me to just relax and relax and just trust and just know that everything is gonna be okay. And that's what feels true to me to my core, where my mind on the other hand wants to, wants to worry because that's the practical thing to do. 
you know, my mind wants to come up with solutions to solve the situation, which is the practical thing to do. And I don't believe we should ever dismiss our mind and the power of it thinking, but I believe we should tie it into our intuition. And what I've been thinking about this morning is like, first, of course, my mind is like, okay, what can I do to make money? What can I do to make money? You know, that's my natural, that's my, that's, that's what my mind is trying to protect me. So it's trying to problem solve and come up with ways. But then my intuition is like, you know, why do I want to put myself in the same position that I've been trying to get away from for years? You know, why not take this time to focus on the things that I enjoy? The things that I could get up and see myself doing every day. Don't, it's like my spirit is saying, don't focus on money. The money will come if you do what you love. And if you do what you love, you're going to do a great job at it anyways. So naturally, you're going to attract wealth and abundance. And I know this to be true from my years in the beauty industry because I've been working for myself as a stylist for over 14 years. I was licensed in 2006. And even before beauty school, well, during beauty school, I became an independent contractor. And working in a business like that where you're not guaranteed a paycheck, you have to have faith. You have to trust in the universe because you are not guaranteed how much you're going to make. You're not guaranteed that clients are going to show up. But that's been the only job I've ever had um, since graduating from cosmetology school, I've been able to make a living and take care of myself and live on my own independently, live in California, in the, in the Bay Area, and live in LA and back here. And I've been able to do all this from working in the beauty industry. And I am good at what I do because I love doing it. But after a while, like, I basically being in that industry was good for me because with my one-on-one -on -one interactions with my clients, I've been able to learn a lot about myself and even develop my psychic ability, my strong intuition through reading them and picking up on things with them and just basically learning about my challenges through them because the universe always brought people to me who was a mirror reflection of me even when I didn't like things about them the things that I didn't like about them were things that I wasn't willing to accept within myself so basically whatever job or career you've been working in for the last few years even if you you've it's no longer fulfill, fulfilling it's what you needed at the moment in order to be who you are now it's it, it, it look at it as school you know, and during that time, you were learning new traits and new skills. You're developing new skills to help you to get to right where you are right now. So, yeah, instead of me stressing myself out about money and how to make more money, which is Capricorn energy, you know, focusing on finances and Capricorn being an earth sign, the pra being practical when it comes to money so practical that it could be cold and heartless you know what i mean instead of focusing on just money and i brought up capricorn because i can't help but bringing up the theme of saturn and capricorn i feel like that is a representation of everything that's happening right now even though saturn is currently in aquarius for the moment you know basically we are forced to be still and not able to work and not think and and not do anything capricorn like which is providing in a practical way we are forced to be still and i feel like this is a blessing like i don't know what's going to happen next but i know that whatever happens is going to work out for my greatest good because i feel like for me the universe has always been very the universe has always worked for me that way where um in 2011 i was able to open up a salon like over a thousand square foot salon 
and six months later purchase commercial property. And during the time of me doing this, we were in a recession. You know, we were currently trying to get over a recession. And even though we were in a recession, it's like everything was working for me because things were at a price that was affordable for me. And the universe sent everyone who would, who could assist me in my journey. And I was able to make these big things happen. Little old me was able to make these big things happen. And to begin with, the money that I needed, I didn't even have all of it in my account at the time. I had just enough at each time and whenever I needed something, it was provided. So I'm saying all this to you guys to say, don't worry. Trust that you've been on this spiritual journey for a reason. You've been preparing for this, whether you know it or not. And this is the time where you trust your intuition and balance it out with your problem solving and thinking ability. Don't dismiss your feelings and intuition and only think because if that's what you're doing, then you're gonna be fearful, you know what I mean? But if you just observe your feelings and connect with your intuition and spend time in nature if you can, because I understand in some places it's pretty cold, you know, but consume comedy listen to beautiful music that make you feel good but you want to tap into that part of you that feels good and write out what's happening now feeling good you're gonna attract great things in the process i don't know what's gonna happen next but i know whatever happened is going to work out in my favor and it's important that you feel the same you don't need to know what's going to happen next. You just need to know that whatever is going to happen next is going to work out in your favor. You might like say we're going to be locked down for six months. Some say some say even longer. You might look in your account and you don't have enough to last you for the next month or two months because you're going from paycheck, paycheck to paycheck. But just trust that it doesn't matter what you're seeing in your account whatever you need will show up whenever you need it you have to trust and believe that and whenever little things do happen in your favor you want to get excited and celebrate those miracles because celebrating the little things is gonna attract more things more things your way you know basically overwhelm yourself with gratitude i find that overwhelming myself with gratitude not only does it put me in a good mood, but I don't know, like my life just feels magical. Like things keep happening, good things keep happening. So if you are watching this video right now, it's, be, it's a message for you to know that good things are happening. Good things are, are, are gonna happen, you know? And basically, if good things aren't happening, that's because you don't believe that it's possible for you. I'll say over and over again, the universe gives us what we believe we can have. Some people believe that's not true because they don't believe that they don't believe that they can have whatever they believe they can have. They don't believe that they have that kind of control and the universe gives them what they believe they can have by them not having the things that we want. I know that we only have so much control and what's happening now is a perfect example of the fact that we only have so much control, but we still have control over how we will respond to it. I feel like you could be in the world, but not of the world. I feel like you could live in chaos, but be in peace, living in a place where everyone else is panicked and in chaos, but you are at peace. I feel like that's how it was for me at the last recession. and that's how it will be for me now like i will be at peace i will trust and know that everything is working out for me because it has to and it always will so my message to you is to don't allow your mind to cause you to be fearful and worry about what's next be grateful about each moment and how things are working for you in this moment and if you believe that things are going to work out for your greatest good shoot me a yellow heart because a yellow car just passed by and it was so bright and 
vibrant and it just felt like a good omen for me i like omens so yeah if you believe that things are gonna work out in your greatest for your greatest good even though it might be hard to see right now shoot me a yellow heart because basically like me you know that you've been preparing for this even though you didn't know you've been preparing for this you know what i mean so because you've been preparing for this this is the time to trust your intuition this is the time to dig deeper and understand yourself that your shadow work wasn't for no reason you being you social distancing while you've been on this journey wasn't for no reason so like a soldier you're built and you're ready while everyone is panicking and freaking out because they don't know how to be with themselves they don't know how to spend time with themselves they don't they ha they don't know how to go in to with and and basically harmonize with themselves and you have been preparing for this you have been on this journey you know what i mean so you are more equipped and this is where you get to be that light at the end of the tunnel for those who haven't been on the journey haven't been doing the work they look at you and they might think you're crazy because why are you so calm when you should be freaking out why freak out over something you have no control over do your part and trust that the universe will take care of the rest because it will. So give me a yellow heart comment in the bottom. If you have been on this journey, if you have been on this journey and you feel at peace, you know, your mind might feel a little fearful, but within you feel at peace, you know that everything is going to work out. You know that things are working out in your favor behind the scenes, even though you cannot see it shoot me a yellow heart to let me know that yes you believe that right there is a butterfly hopefully it flies into the picture and that's also a positive omen for me so yes so much confirmation since i've been out there out here that things are working out in our favor things are working out for our greatest good even if we cannot see it we've been preparing for this whether we've known it or not so this is the time where you really basically start using all the things you've learned in your journey. And what I mean by that is your positive thinking and just trusting and knowing because you know that there is more to life than what meets the eye. The people who aren't willing to experience that, they're probably literally losing their mind right now because they don't know how to trust. You know, they've always felt that they have control where you know how to trust because you know that there is things at work within this universe that's bigger than us. And because of that, we're good. If you enjoyed this video and you have not subscribed to this channel, please show some support and go ahead and do so. Be sure to like this video and share. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.